Hello everyone, this is Broby one Kenobi, also known as Kyle. I'm back here playing on my Feed the Beast server. And, um, downstairs in my second floor basement. Um, as you will recall, over yonder is my, um, recycling and mass fabrication area. Which, by the way, I have tons of UU matter now. Um, not really sure what the use is going to be for that stuff, but... You know, we have it, so that's the important thing. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about is, for kicks, um, I, I seem to not be able to make a high voltage solar array yet, which is what I would like to do. But unfortunately, I just do not have enough copper. Um, right now, I am running a third, my third uh, full quarry in my quarry age, the desert one, not the dense ores, because, uh, I don't know, the dense ores just feels like cheating to me. <laughs> I don't want to use it anymore. Uh, I got my use out of it, and for now, I'm going to stick with just quarrying in the desert area. So, anyway, while I'm waiting for that, um, I'm th I was thinking of an alternative to the solar power, and what we're going to make today and it's not here. Well, I'm going to get to this one in probably the next episode. I'm going to do Steve's carts, I think. That's what that was for. But what I'm going to get to today is a nuclear reactor. Uh, so it's going to be an advanced circuit, a generator, and three reactor chambers. The reactor chamber is a machine block surrounded by dense copper plates. So I went ahead and got all the materials I'm going to need for this. And there you go, reactor chambers. I'm probably going to need more of these. Um, because I know that the more you add on to it, the uh, more space you have. But there we go, a nuclear reactor. That was really easy. <laughs> That's actually not a bad crafting recipe. Um, you can probably get one of these pretty close to the start of a game. Um, all you really need is a compressor. Um, the hardest other thing to get is glowstone dust from the nether. But otherwise, it's really not too bad. Um, so anyway, uh, then what we're going to also do, and uh, I guess I might as well pull these up as well, is I'm going to make a reinforced door, reinforced stone, and reinforced glass because I want to make a like containing cell for this uh, nuclear reactor because I don't want it to blow up my entire house. So, uh... The reinforced stone is made by just eight stone around the sides with an advanced alloy in the middle and that will make you reinforced stone. So I'm going to go ahead and make, I don't know, at least two stacks is probably good for now. Um, and then we're going to make that reinforced glass, which I should have a couple extra laying around somewhere, but I don't know. Let's make about a stack of this stuff as close to a stack as we can get. It's probably more than enough of all this stuff. I don't think I'll need any more, but it's there if I do. Um, let's go ahead and make the reinforced door. And there we go. So we've got reinforced materials. We've got a nuclear reactor. I'm going to go ahead and start, I guess, laying this out. Um, hmm. I want to put it around here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. Do, do, do. Let's just go right here. I'm not sure how big I'm going to build this. One, two, three, four. I think like that. I'm just going to build the skeleton of it for now. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Probably I'm going to have to make more of this stuff at some point in time, but for now, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yes, so far coming together pretty well. Alright, so there's the actual exoskeleton, and I'm going to do the bait, the bottom floor.
and the roof which I probably should have made taller but that's okay um, before I actually do set this up completely to run I'm going to go into my t uh, go into a test world and test this out because I want to make sure that it's not going to blow up everything I own um, let's put the glass around the sides I want to see if one layer will be enough to protect it or if I'm going to want a second layer it's basically what I want to test and let's grab the door oh yeah I have to give it a redstone signal so I'm going to have to go grab a uh, lever from upstairs oh man so this nuclear reactor should help me get a lot of power um, like I said I'm gonna run through a test world before I actually start with it anyway um, so I wanna make sure I know what I'm doing and I'm not gonna blow up my entire house and everything I ever owned because that would just be very unfortunate um, <laughs> definitely don't wanna do that sweet so now we can go ahead and plop Oh, I thought I made this mm, I messed up somewhere I messed up on the sides let's go ahead and fix this then oh the glass breaks let me go grab a silk touch pick I have several of them hopefully silk touch works on that stuff uh, but I'm not counting not holding my breath for it so I have one here silk touch Sweet deal. Yeah, I have a ton of uh, enchanted items because of the end portal area. Let's see. Oh man, this takes a long time to break. Oh, but I do get it back, so that's worth it. Not that this stuff is really that expensive, but it's more expensive than I want it to be. Okay, then the rest I can break with the Vodra. That's no problems. Uh, let's see. Hmm. And how did I mess that one up? Epic fail on my part. Okay, so one more layer of glass that will. Oh, mouse is freaking out. I'm getting some block lag. It's rather annoying. And then do 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 and do. Wow, I'm running out of um, reinforced stone. Oh dang it! This stuff takes forever to break too. This is with an efficiency four pickaxe. I can't imagine what it would be without the efficiency. It would be just very ridiculous. All right, so let's go ahead and place that. Let's go ahead and place that. Let's go ahead and grab the reactor chamber. And there we go. Now we have a nuclear reactor. So you just put uranium cells or whatever fuel you're going to burn. I don't know if there's any other fuel you can use besides uranium cells. Like I said, I'm going to run through some tests before I actually start this thing up. However, this is the nuclear reactor. And then all you would do is you'd throw in uh, your uranium cells or whatever. You probably have to give it a redstone signal, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'd have it pump the wire, uh, put a wire down and bring it out to an MFSU or something like that. Um, I guess I'd just wire it straight to my other MFSU, which is going to be a lot of wiring, but uh, it'll be worth it. Um, so yeah, that's the reactor chamber. Um, and like I said, I'm going to run through some tests. Um, if it seems that it needs um, like if this is not going to contain the explosion enough if in the event that it does melt down which obviously I'm not hoping for but uh, y you know you can never be too safe um, which actually can I just mm, I'm afraid to break this with a pick ah oh, dang it I knew that was going to happen well, that don't matter. Oh my god, this thing breaks stuff way too easily. 
uh, F. Gravitation engine on. Actually, that's okay, because we're going to have to pull this wire along somewhere. Ooh, achievement crystal. Hmm, cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and just dig this tunnel. <laughs> I'm already down here. I might as well dig the freaking tunnel to the... I'm getting some bad block lag. Oh, by the way, I can turn that off. Trying to make sure I don't. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Now, can I break this stuff without. ruining everything? Hey, that looks like it's broken. Whoops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> um. Hmm. This is interesting. I wonder if that's just a visual bug. Um, hmm. Where is the power line coming in from? Can I break? Oh, I cannot break this. That is unfortunate. Hmm. I have to figure out where I'm going to... Can I break this one? No, I cannot break that one either. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, that sucks. Oh wait, no, that's okay. But I still want to block it. Um, alright, I'm getting distracted. Um, heh. Oh, I know what I can do. You can be smart, Kyle. I'm gonna have to get down there too, though. Just please don't break anything excess. This really isn't connecting with... Oh my goodness. Aha! There's the line that I want it to connect with. Alright, so let's fix this the way I want it to be. Ooh, tin. I think I'm going to harvest... Oh, I just broke it. I did not mean to do that. I think I'm going to harvest this tin, though. Because you never know when you might need tin. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Alright, so let's fix this. So these two blocks need to stay. That's fine. No. Oh, oh my god. Why is this thing... This thing is so overzealous with breaking things. Alright, so... Yeah, we're just going to cover this over anyway. Alright, so this wire is going to come straight down. Uh, we need that open. Okay, so it's going to come down. It's going to go over. So this we don't need. Well, we do need it because I need to be able to get in. In and out. Um, let's see. Where's this stuff? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's fixed. Where did I pick up a torch? Oh, I bet you I didn't know where it was from. Yeah, this commentary is all over the place. I am sorry. It can go there. Okay. So now I need to go get some... Yes, I do. Some wire. I could have sworn I told it to work. There we go. Alright. Let's go upstairs and get some cable and lay down the cable. Actually, you know what? No. We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. And um, I guess eventually somewhere down the line I'll do an update to whether or not I turn this nuclear reactor on. And when I do, I will show you guys what I did with it and make sure I explain that. So, yeah. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and click like. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thanks so much for watching. Peace.